The Museum of Discovery and Science is proud to bring you Wise Bodies, presented by AIDS Healthcare Foundation. Don't be shy to give me whatever answer you're feeling. Who in this picture do you guys think has HIV? I just feel like it's kind of a, like, like any answer that you give to this is almost a microaggression at, like, like at the community or at whatever marginalized communities people belong to. Anybody can have HIV. So this question is kind of, I don't want to say obscure, but it could be all of them, it could be none of them. It really doesn't matter because anyone can have HIV shows just how stigmatized the disease is and how people try to stereotype who has it and who doesn't just based on their own prejudices. So you can never tell if a person has HIV unless they come out and say it outright. These cups represent various individuals and from the outside you cannot tell who would hold the HIV virus. So in this demonstration you can guess along with us as Lan Gregory here mixes up the individuals to then see if we can guess who contains the HIV virus. Okay, I'm going to guess this one. See, just from looking on the outside, you can't tell who contains the HIV virus. So that is why it is very important to have protected sex, because you never know somebody's status. Yeah, they, they say, you know, I would know if I had it, but you, you don't really know if you have it without the test, because the majority of people have um, no acute HIV symptoms. So when they get infected, even though that's the time their virus goes super high and they're super infectious to other people, they may not feel anything, not even like a little cold, nothing. The majority feel nothing. It's very different in today's day and age than it was when HIV was first discovered. And unfortunately, how serious and how deadly HIV was back in the late 80s and early 90s still contaminates the mindsets of a lot of people in our society. To better understand why there is a lingering stigma today, it can be helpful to explore where it came from. We are in a situation here where there's incredible ignorance, incredible fear, and incredible discrimination. It is hard not to discriminate against something that is life-threatening, that is so easily contractable. It was really scary and crazy. If you were gay, a lot of people automatically thought you had AIDS, so they treated you with that stigma. We're going to be discussing homosexuality. Barney's Beanery has had a sign that says, faggots stay out. A young man, a college student, Matt Shepard, was murdered, and they put him up as a scarecrow, and they left him there for 18 hours. Uh, some feel it's a hate crime. Stigma and misconceptions about HIV can negatively affect health and well-being of young people preventing some from getting tested, disclosing their HIV status, or seeking HIV care. Anyone is at risk of contracting HIV, and the sooner people realize that, that there's not one particular mold that defines the HIV-positive person. AIDS and HIV is not a gay disease. It's a everyone-can-get-it disease. Anyone from your grandparents to people that are 16, 17, 18 years old. At AIDS Healthcare Foundation, we've seen people as young as 13, 14 contract the disease. I had a 13-year-old. She had her first sexual encounter with a guy from her class, and she got pregnant. And because she got pregnant, she got tested for HIV, and she was positive. So she had only had sex once. So it's not about the number of times, it's about the partner that you had sex with. So some of the things I've seen during my career that might help you prevent HIV or at least raise a little flag that something might be wrong is one, your partner is a lot older than you. I'm talking five to 10 years older than you. Two, they, they don't wanna wear a condom and they get all upset about it in a weird way, right? That should be a red flag or they don't honor your request to wear a condom, right? They use the excuse that if you love me, 
you wouldn't have to do that or what are you doing are you cheating um, if they throw it back at you like that you need to worry um, somebody who really cares about you cares about not causing you harm not not bringing you any diseases and um, would be somebody that would be willing to go get tested together or to use protection get tested get tested and also protect yourself you always want to wear a condom stigma is is very thick out there and I challenge you guys to to eliminate stigma let's abolish stigma altogether we can't do it by ourselves we got to be one one community one voice and we're in this together thank you for joining us here at the Museum of Discovery and Science for Wise Bodies presented by AIDS Healthcare Foundation remember it's time for you to know your body, know your status, and help us make a difference.